guys, I want to give Manny Pacquiao a lot of respect uh, for taking another great challenge and giving us boxing fans a fight uh, we want to see. Al Heyman deserves a lot of credit. I'll make a separate video about Al Heyman later, probably upload it tonight. Um, he deserves he deserves a lot of credit. He, deser he deserves a lot of credit, Pacquiao. You know, in a career that's long, that spanned for over 20 years, right? this man continues to excite and delight the fans. He continues to delight the fans. You know, with exceptional, exciting fights. He's taking fights that probably shouldn't be taken in this stage of his career. Um, I believe Thurman's the right fight for him right now because it, it will show us whether he's able to compete with guys like Crawford or Spence. Um, you know, if he's able to get through Th uh, Pat, uh, Thurman, then the only other big big names at the welterweights that you'd want to see him in there against is, um, is Spence or Crawford. Um, but again, you have to give the guy a lot of credit. Now, a lot of you have b gave me a little stick saying that I've overhyped Pacquiao in this fight. And I think that, you know, my prediction that I've made, there's no way Pacquiao wins and Pacquiao's going to get blown out of the water by Thurman. Who's, who's 40. I, I believe that's my belief. That's my belief. I believe Pacquiao's going to do this guy. I believe stylistically Pacquiao's style is wrong. Now, some of you said, well, you know, uh, Broner. Broner gave Pacquiao problems. What fight were you watching? He didn't give Pacquiao no problems. Pacquiao won that fight decisively. And if you if you think Pacquiao, he gave Pacquiao problems and Pacquiao won about 10 of the 12 rounds, then, like I said, I don't know what, what fight you, you were watching because, uh, to me, that was a very clinical performance. Yes, it wasn't the vintage Pacquiao, um, but he won virtually every round, didn't he? So how can you say that it wasn't it wasn't a great performance? It was. And, well, okay, if you say that, Thurman looked terrible in his last fight. Let's talk about Thurman. He fought, in my opinion, Broner's better than Lopez. I think he's better than Lopez, right? Thurman fought Josecito Lopez and almost was staggering all over the place in the seventh round, almost out on his feet. So how can you say my predictions like crazy? It's not. If if I'm telling I'm telling you in my opinion what I've just saw in the last fight, Thurman looked terrible. He was he was almost knocked out against a not in my opinion a top fifteen opponent like probably twelve or thirteenth maybe fifteenth best welterweight in the world. You know so how can you how how can you say well my predictions over when when he's fighting Pacquiao who's way better than Lopez who's way more dangerous who's way more faster who's way more skillful how can you say that I'm, I'm my prediction is 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 like crazy. It's not. Thurman looked terrible in his last fight. If, and, and let, I'm not looking at Thurman, Danny Garcia Thurman. I'm not looking at Sean Porter Thurman. I'm looking at the Keith Thurman that fought Lopez. Because that's the Keith Thurman that's going to fight M Manny Pacquiao. That's the Keith Thurman we've got right now. We haven't got that Thurman. He's had a career-threatening injury. That his elbow was, was severely damaged. Nobody takes two years out of the ring. Over two years out of the ring, right? If there's not a career threatening injury, he had a career threatening injury. He had an injury which maybe many people may have not come back from. We don't know where Thurman's at. We don't know where Thurman's at. Yes, I would I would be in favor of Thurman winning this fight because Pacquiao's older. And if, if it was a Thurman of old that had the confidence that was that was fighting regular, yes, I would pick that Thurman, probably a slight favorite against Pacquiao. But it's not that Thurman. It's not that Thurman, it's Thurman that almost was knocked out against Lopez in his last fight. He was almost badly knocked, like, many people thought the fight should have been stopped. Many people thought in that seventh round, the, he was lucky that the referee didn't stop the fight. So, how can you say that me picking Pacquiao to win is, is, a, is, is a no, like, is stupid? It's not. It's not. And like I said, I think you guys are going to be shocked on the night if you think Thurman's going to knock Pacquiao out in three rounds. You're going to be shocked on the night because I believe, I believe Thurman's, I think Thurman's going to get knocked out in this fight. I generally do. And again, you have to give credit to Manny Pacquiao for taking this fight. He doesn't need to take these fights. He doesn't need to take these fights. Although I think he's, I, in my eyes, he's the favorite in this fight. He doesn't need to take these fights. He can just go and chill out now because he, he's, he's done what he's done. He's already a legend. He's already secured his legacy, but he's continuing to deliver for the fans. He's continuing to give fights that, you know, are very dangerous for him, right? It's still, Thurman still presents a danger. You know, he's a big puncher, he's a big guy, you know. He still presents a danger and Pacquiao at this stage in his career doesn't need to take those risks. He doesn't, but he's doing it to put, to give us to the fans. And that's why his career has been a lot more entertaining than Mayweather's because Mayweather's doesn't do that. Mayweather 
does what is best for him. Pacquiao does what's best for the fans. Yes, of course, they all care about money and it's all about money. Yes, I totally agree. But Pacquiao always excites the fans and delivers for the fans. Mayweather hasn't. So you have to bear these things into consideration. But like I said, I think it's, it's, it's a great fight for both guys. It will tell us where they're at. Um, and it's going to be intriguing and excited. I'm, I'm very excited, as you can see. Uh, I can't wait for it. But leave your thoughts, guys. And guys, remember to please like, share, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.